Serving all of San Diego, this is your Fox 5 News. Welcome back, everybody. The swine flu outbreak has people asking a lot of questions. Among them, what is the difference between swine flu and regular flu? Joining us right now with some answers is an ER doctor from Alvarado Hospital, Reza Tagari. Dr. Tagari, good morning. Good morning. Good to be back. Yeah, good to have you. We wanted to clear some things up. Uh, you were great uh, yesterday, and we want to do a little bit more today. There are two symptoms you're saying, because every, every doctor is saying, you don't know if you have the swine flu or the regular flu. Correct. Well, what are the symptoms that are, are more uh, indigenous, if you will, to the fly, swine flu? Swine flu is identical in many ways to the regular flu. You're going to have the same symptoms of coughing, congestion, headaches, sore throat, fever. We're seeing more of an incidence of nausea and vomiting with the swine flu, mm -hmm. which tends to set it apart in some ways. So nausea and vomiting. Nausea and vomiting seem to be more pronounced with swine flu as compared to regular flu. That's okay. correct. Okay. Um, Let's talk about, we've been saying that there's, there's tam, Tamiflu and uh, Relenza. Relenza. Uh, that's uh, treating it. Uh, or, that's correct. Or, how can we get that? Is that a prescription or OTC? Over Those are only prescribed by your physician. Uh -huh. And they are two drugs that are known to be effective against the type A influenza virus, which is what the swine flu virus is. Uh -huh. Your doctor has to assess that you actually have this influenza virus, uh -huh. and they have a nose swab that can determine that. Uh -huh. And then your doctor can prescribe that to shorten the duration of your symptoms and to make your symptoms less severe. Speaking of nose swabs, I use the uh, Zycam nose swabs. Is that something good to use? Uh, not that we're endorsing that product, but I'm just saying, is that type of uh, uh, you know remedy helpful? It can't hurt. Or prevention? There's many other uh, products that are over-the-counter medications on the market that mm -hmm. can decrease your symptoms like they would with regular colds or flus. How often is swine flu fatal? In this country, fortunately, there have been no documented deaths from swine flu per se. We do get deaths from regular flu, which is why we take it so seriously right. every year. In Mexico, they've had upwards of 150 deaths, which is why they're taking this so seriously. So two things. First of all, there are more deaths in Mexico, I'm <clears throat> assuming, because the folks are not able to get to the doctor. Uh, and, and then also you said that there are no confirmed swine flu uh, fatalities in our country, but how do you know if you don't really know who had the swine flu versus the regular flu? That's an excellent point, which is why I think people should take any kinds of flu-like symptoms seriously. Flu by itself is a very dangerous disease, especially in the elderly and in young people. Swine flu tends to be a little bit more aggressive in that we've seen cases in young, healthy people. Yeah. But I think your point is very well taken. All right. So you don't really know? You don't really know? All right. Masks. Do masks. they work? Do they work? Well, yes and no. Uh, at Alvarado, we're handing them out to all patients to mm -hmm. keep them isolated. But because the disease is spread by human-to-human -human contact and respiratory droplets and coughing and sneezing, mm -hmm. it will provide additional barrier protection. The best protection, obviously, is to avoid people who are sick. And if you are sick, to avoid going to work and going to public places. Exactly. Uh, we want to let you know that, that we do um, have links to the uh, CDC yes. Centers for uh, Diseases uh, Control. No, what? I can't think right now. What does CDC stand for? Centers for Disease Control and oh, Prevention. Oh, that's right. Okay. And uh, right. <laughs> the World Health Organization on our website, fox5sandiego.com, with much more information on swine flu. Um, what, if we're, what can we do? What can we carry in our purse, on our person uh, throughout the day to help us kind of protect ourselves? Really and truly, the common sense precautions apply. Wash your hands. If you touch surfaces, try to avoid touching your nose and your mouth, because this is how the virus is spread, in addition to regular flu. If you're sick, don't go to work. If you're in an area where there are people who are sick, yeah. avoid those areas as yeah. much as possible, but always wash your hands. Doc, are you finding, we got to run, but are you finding that more people are coming to you now, your patients, or are. through the ER? Yeah. They are. And this is one thing that I think has kept us disease at bay in this country. We have better access to care. People can go to their doctors a little bit more easily in this country, which is why I think we haven't had any documented fatalities. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was thinking. Okay, Re uh, Dr. Reza Tagari, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I have a feeling we'll see you again. It's been a uh, pleasure. Right now we're going to go to Raul, who was laughing at me. Because when? the only word that would come to my mind was indigenous. <laughs> you know it was wrong, and I know it was wrong, but it was all I could pull down at that time. <laughs> <laughs> it's amusing. Wasn't Thank laughing you. at you, laughing with you. Thank you. It's sure different. you were. It's different. All right.